What's up guys and welcome to Short Sermon 25. So today's short sermon is going to be on excuses. So we all make excuses in our everyday lives, whether it's to put off a ho homework that we've been trying to do or to put off a chore that we need to be doing. But sometimes we can be making excuses towards the very God that we serve. We say we're going to follow him, but then we just play one more game. We just go on Instagram or TikTok, YouTube for a few more hours. We put off serving God. God calls us to follow him, to obey him, to read the Bible, to pray. But then we just put him off like another thing on our to-do list. One thing that we put off from serving God is our age. In first in First Timothy four verses eleven and twelve it says, Teach these things and insist that everyone learn them. Don't let anyone think less of you because you are you are young. Be an example to all believers in what you say, in the way you live, your love, your faith, and your purity. Right? So we don't have to be worried about, oh, I'm too young to do this. I'm not old enough to do this, right? There's no junior Holy Spirit. God the Spirit of God works the same no matter how old you are, no matter if you're 13, 12, younger, or 65 and older. So, one person who didn't give an excuse to serve God is David. In 1 Samuel chapter 17, the Israelites and the Philistines are meeting on opposite hills with a valley in between them. And in verse 8... Goliath stood and shouted a taunt across to the Israelites. Why are you all coming up? Why are you all coming out to fight? He called. I'm the Philistine champion, but you are only servants of Saul. Choose one man to come down and fight me. So when David heard this, he was like, you know what? He's big. He's bigger and stronger. He's older than me. But I have a God who is bigger and stronger than him. He didn't, he didn't put down that. He was younger than everyone else. He was weaker than everyone else. He maybe didn't have as much experience as everyone else. He, in a physical stance, he wasn't the one qualified for the job. But he's he was the one willing to do the job. Another thing we put off is our time. How much time do we spend doing A, B, and C? Going on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube. Just playing video games. Instead than reading our Bible and getting into prayer. So I'm a chess player, so when I'm playing chess, I have to look at the board and analyze it to figure out what the best move is, what the best choice I can make is to better the future and the outcome. So we have to do the same thing in real life. We have to look at where we are in life and say, okay, what's the best thing I can be doing right now? And it's not going on Instagram, going on TikTok, playing another video game. It's spending time in the Word, spending time with God, and spending time in prayer. Another thing that we put off is our fear. Maybe we're too afraid to go out and preach to people. We're too afraid to go out and share the gospel. In Deuteronomy 31, verses 6, it says, Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not panic before them. For the Lord your God will personally go ahead of you. He will neither fail you nor abandon you, right? So this is the comfort that we have. God says, you don't need to be afraid. I am with you. I'm fighting your battles. I'm going to be with you through it all. So you can move God out of the way or you can let God move you. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful rest of your day.